Don't move to Pensacola for our schools, because our schools What's up everybody? Hey, welcome to the channel. This is Living in Pensacola, Florida, and I am your lovely, good-looking, awesome, charismatic host, Tim Eklund. I got my boy Mike Perk behind the camera. Always got to give him a shout out. But hey, listen, um, before we start this, you know, I want people to understand that there are so many things I wish I could tell you. I'm a licensed real estate agent, licensed real estate broker, so there are certain things that I cannot say legally since I am licensed, but I have a lot of people that ask me about schools and it's summertime, people are moving here. They're going to be looking to get their kids into schools. Where do you move to? Hey, I've looked at this house, but the school sucks, right? Uh, I looked at this house, the school's great, but it's not enough room, things like that. So I wanted to go over as much as I can about schools here in Escambia County. So we have some phenomenal elementary schools. We only have a couple good middle schools. We have some great high schools and we have some not so great high schools. And I'm going off of what is public information about their rankings, okay? A school, B school, D school. You guys can do that on your own research. But I wanted to kind of go over, uh, and this is a list that I pulled from uh, the county about just the number one schools for middle school. So that way you can look up, hey, you know what? I want to live in an area that has a great elementary school. So we have Brown Barge. Brown Barge is a great school. It's a magnet school. It has a little bit of a different platform from learning. Doesn't have your basic, uh, you know, math, science, English, history, that kind of stuff. We've got AK Suter, that's where Brody goes. Phenomenal school down in the southeast part of town. Um, you have NB Cook. My older son Gannon went to NB Cook. One of our lovely um, agents, Miles, his daughter goes there. It is a phenomenal school. It's also a magnet school. Um, it, and they, they have to take a certain amount of kids from, from different uh, zip codes. So you don't have to live by it, right? There is no school district, so you can live far away. Uh, you got Cordova Park, beautiful, wonderful school. You got Scenic Heights, you got Helen Caro, um, you got R.C. Lipscomb, uh, Binerville, which is up in Molino. You got Molino Park. You got Pine Meadows. So those are your top 10, top 11 elementary schools. Now, when it comes to middle schools, you have Brown Bards and you have a couple others, or people will also go to private school, okay? Now, I wanted to talk to you about a program that is here. It's called Step Up for Kids program. It's also the Florida Tax Credit Scholarship. So this is pretty cool. So the state, you can, apply and for a scholarship up to $7,700 for your kid. The cool thing is this year, DeSantis, no matter if you're Republican or Democratic, this is one of the great things, is that they actually waived the income level. So there used to be a very small income level for that, but now it is waived. So you can make a million dollars and your kid can get approved for uh, a tuition uh, scholarship to a private school. So if you do live in your dream home and it's a D school, well now you can actually apply to get up to $7,700 for your kid to go to a private school, which is awesome. Also, I wanted to talk to you about school choice. Uh, school choice is great. So let's say you live in a D school, but you wanna try to get your kid into another school, you can school choice them. The only thing is typically transportation is not provided, so you would have to you know, drop the kids off or something like that. But I just wanted to kind of go over this because we have a lot of people moving here and it is summertime. So if you're coming here and you're gonna be getting ready for school, where do you go, right? Where do you look at it? And, and you know, I live in East Hill, I am actually zoned for OJ Sims. That's where Brody should be going, but we school choice and uh, got him into AK Suter. So actually next year, uh, cause we wanted to kind of prep him, uh, get him ready for middle school. He's gonna be going to Sacred Heart, uh, which is on 12th Avenue in East Hill. So a lot of people, you might not live in, in a, a great ranking for a school district, but if you want a school choice or now with the Step Up uh, for Kids program, Florida Tax Credit Scholarship, you could do that, but I just wanted to go over that real quick and, and just let you guys know that there's a lot of great schools. Now, let's say you go over to Gulf Breeze. Santa Rosa County has some of the best schools in the state. Gulf Breeze, middle, elementary, and high school are all together, which is awesome. 
But if you're in Pace or Milton, you're in Navarre, you know, you got Oriole Beach, you got Navarre High School, um, you got Pace High School, great baseball, Milton. So, but Santa Rosa County actually has some of the best schools in, in the state. So if you're really, really looking for uh, a place to live and to have great schools, maybe Santa Rosa County uh, going from elementary school or from kindergarten all the way up to high school might be the better choice. But hey, that's what we would love to do is help you understand what it's like to live, sleep, eat, party, hang out, to, you know, school, everything here along the panhandle. So if there's any questions that we can answer, make sure you reach out 850-637-8622. We really appreciate you guys. Welcome. Thanks for, uh, for watching. And hey, make sure you click on some of these other videos.